Hello and welcome back to Mindspans. My name is Craig and I want to thank you for spending some time with me. Today, I'm going to just share a quick story. It, was, it came from a dream and then I was thinking about the dream and it was the coolest thing and it's going to sound really simple when I show it to you, but it's actually really, really cool and it really changes the way you think about the planet. But first, really, really big stretch. Ugh. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you're doing that, try to stretch very high with your hands and also feel like pushing down uh, at the base of your spine or pushing your feet against the floor so you get that really great stretch in your spine. And then release your breath slowly. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Mm -hmm. All right, it's cool. So, I had this dream and I was going down into a cave and there was like this monster and I ended up fighting the monster and then there's this, when the monster disappears and there's this old guy who's like, like spinning rugs, like tapestries on a loom. And then he has a whole shelf of them and he gives me one. And, uh, and I go back out the other side of the cave and it's in the desert and it's very mystical. Anyway, so, and I open it up and it, it's like a, this very, like a, like lines and paths and, but connected, but lines, like it looks like almost like a tree of life or something, but it's like clearly to me, it represented different paths that one may take in, in my life and, and sort of a representation of my life. But what dawned on me when I woke up and I was thinking about it, it was a very powerful dream, was that it was past, present, and future all in the same space. And that, you know, is in fact time and we know this from, from, from quantum physics, that time is only a perception that, you know, time can actually by mathematical equation go backwards or forwards. And so therefore there's timelessness and time existing together. So the point of all this is that, so I was thinking about this and somehow I, I, there were two, I had a, a piece of paper like this and there were two dots on the paper like that. If you can see those two dots and I was thinking about it. And normally if you think what's the fastest route between those two dots, you know, you'd say it's a, a line like that, right? Which makes sense. But then when I realized from this dream, if everything is all the same, what if I what if I just folded it, right? So I folded the piece of paper. And so now that dot, those two dots, are now occupying the same space at the same time, right? And so it, it's in a way of proof that that the, there there is no distance between anything, which means there's no time. You can make that a big assumption, but in a sense it's true. And I did it here very simply, but imagine uh, in the complexities of space, that space should be able also to be full. If I can fold this, then you should be able with, it, with the right force fold space. And therefore at some point that's possible. And that would cause everything to be occupying the exact same space at the exact same time. Right. <laughs> So think about that. I didn't want to make this a long video, but it's a really cool thing to think about because it has a, a lot of implications. And it's not the implications of whether things are predetermined or not, because I don't believe that that meaning that that no matter what you do, the future is is written already. So it doesn't whatever you do is in line with whatever's going to happen anyway. And I don't believe that that's the case. But I think at any given point in time, 
eternity exists within that point in time. So all possibilities exist, which is much more in line with a, a quantum way of thinking of, of the world, which is all possibilities exist and are happening right now. And where we direct our attention and our focus and our choice basically takes all those possibilities and collapses them down to this one moment that we've chosen. And that's like the pixelization of time. So all these videos I talk about. So that happened a while ago. And as a result of that, it got me, that's what got me thinking about intention. That got me thinking about choosing and that, that stripping away the subconscious or, or autonomous behaviors to be more conscious of my choices, uh, to be more conscious of where my head's at, where I'm, where I'm not wandering in my mind, because all of that stuff is recreating the universe at that moment from that place in your head, right? And so if your head's clear and you're, and you're focused, then you're going to be recreating the universe in a really positive, amazing way. And you can create the best version of yourself and you can create the best version of your day. And, uh, and generally, like I always say, is just elevate, elevate your life, elevate your day, elevate the time we have here in this incarnation and, uh, and enjoy it. So that's what I got. Subscribe to the channel. I wish you all incredible day. Try this fold the paper. It just, it sounds silly and it might feel silly, but when you actually think about it, it's important and it'll release something. Maybe not today, but over a short period of time, all of a sudden you'll be like, Oh, I get what you're saying. If you don't already. So thank you very much. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram. I write a lot more on Instagram than, than I do produce videos, but, uh, um, you can check me out there too at Mindspans. So have an awesome day. Thank you very much. And I'll speak to you very soon.